I get asked by people all the time, Dr. A, what's the best exercise to burn fat? Well, the best exercise to burn fat is a healthy diet. Cool, video over. Just kidding. I have some more for you in today's video, and specifically I'm gonna share with you several of my very favorite fat burning exercises, exercises that are research proven to increase your metabolism and your fat burning, but that first part is actually true. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. And if you're out there and you're looking to lose weight and improve your body composition, nutrition is the key. And let me share a quick example before we get into the exercises. If you were to go to McDonald's and you got a medium fry and a small drink, that's around 650 calories. And you could down that in two minutes. And to burn off 650 calories, you'd have to do an hour of hard running, like legit sprinting for an hour. And who can actually do that? So if you think about this equation, you've got to clean up the nutrition first. And once you have a good baseline, we can get into the fat burning exercises. And if you need help with your nutrition, scroll below into the description, get our copy of our free meal plan for fit moms and fit dads. Now in this video, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna break down my favorite fat burning exercises that involve weights, like dumbbells and kettlebells, that involve no weights that you can do with body weight, and I'm gonna talk about some specific forms of cardio and compare them on how they affect fat loss. And if you hang to the very end and you look at my mystery whiteboard here, I'm gonna reveal four specific action steps on how to take everything you share into this video and get it into a simple plan that you can start following this week to lose more body fat and involve these great fat burning exercises. Let's get into today's video. All right, so the first amazing exercise to burn fat, and this one is criminally overlooked, are kettlebell or dumbbell swings. And this is an exercise that you've probably seen before, but you may not be incorporating to its full extent. What you're effectively doing is taking a kettlebell or a dumbbell with a wide stance, and you're swinging the kettlebell through your legs, contracting your glutes, keeping your core very tight. And the reason this exercise is so good for fat burning and boosting your metabolism is it pretty much involves your entire body, your core, your chest, your shoulders, all the big muscles of your legs. As we're gonna go throughout this video, you're gonna find that I present the best exercises for fat burning are the ones that activate your lower body and your core together. And here's some context. If you were to do a 30 minute kettlebell workout, you'd burn around 600 calories, that's a lot. Now, if we were to be more realistic, and let's say you did a 10 to 15 minute workout, you're still burning two to 250 calories. But remember, exercise is not just about the calories you burn during exercise, it's about the metabolic boost that you get after the fact. And this is why kettlebell swings are so effective because they give you an amazing metabolic boost because you're not just like doing cardio, you're activating your muscles and making metabolic changes. And here's specifically why I love kettlebell swings and what I recommend you do. I recommend you try to do 100 kettlebell swings in your next workout. And you can do this in two ways. You can get a very heavy kettlebell and do a set of 10, right? Get a heavy kettlebell, swing that thing, and you can do like 10 sets of 10, resting one to two minutes in between. Or you can get a light kettlebell and do higher rep work, like do five sets of 20. And the reason I love kettlebells, and I think they'll fit perfectly into your routine, is you can do them as a dynamic warm-up, like before your exercise, get those swings in. You can do them after your workout, it's kind of like an afterburner, or it can be like a standalone. You only have like 10 minutes to work out, get that kettlebell, do 100 swings, it's gonna be amazing for your fat burning and your overall fitness and coordination, especially as you get older. Let's get into the next exercise. The second best exercise on this list for burning fat that does involve weights are loaded squats. And these could be barbell squats, traditional side holding dumbbell squats, or goblet squats where you hold a dumbbell or kettlebell to your chest. And again, just like the kettlebell swings, the reason this is so effective for fat loss is you're involving your core and the massive muscles in your legs. And when you're involving this nice muscles of your legs, you are burning a lot of calories, but again, you're getting this metabolic boost after the workout and you're stimulating muscle growth. And when you have more muscle growth, your metabolism goes up at rest, so you're burning more calories every single day. So this is an absolute staple. And specifically for fat loss, what I recommend with all, all these kinds of squats is you do higher rep squats. I'm talking sets of like 15, maybe even up to 30 reps. So just like the swings, I suggest that you try to get 100 reps in a workout. This could be a traditional 10 sets of 10 on a barbell squat. Or you can get the dumbbell squats and do five sets of 20. Or the goblet squats, which I think is really probably the best version because you're holding at something with your arms and your core and you're dropping down. An amazing exercise. And again, you can use this as a staple in your core leg workouts if that's how you're structuring things. Or if you're doing full body training, try to do 50 to 100 reps of the squats and then work your other major muscle groups. This will have a huge effect on your metabolism and eventually your muscle growth, which is key for fat loss. So the third exercise on my favorite list of the weighted best fat burning exercises is walking lunges. 
And again, this is something that not enough people do and it's an absolute killer. So basically you're gonna hold dumbbells or kettlebells at your side and you're basically gonna set a one minute timer and just do walking lunges where you're stepping forward, really focusing on your core, a nice upright posture, loading your glutes and springing forward. The key that makes this a great fat burning exercise is if you're doing this for one minute, you're gonna find it's tremendous cardio. Your grip is being taxed, your core is being taxed. You're starting to huff and puff and this is gonna give you a phenomenal metabolic boost. And yes, you're burning a lot of calories, but again, you're also getting this afterburn effect where your metabolism is accelerated because you're actually doing strength training. And again, if you do a traditional leg day style split, you can include these as I like a finisher. Really good way to top things off. You don't need to use a lot of weight. Although you can also get pretty heavy with these and make it a very phenomenal strength training exercise if your goal is to build more muscle and more strength. And what I love is this combines endurance and the cardio aspect with strength training. And the key here is to do one minute, do a full minute set a timer and then rest for one to two minutes and do another set. If you wanna be an absolute beast, work up to around three to five sets of this, you're absolutely gonna feel the burn. Now, in the next part of this video, we're gonna get into some body weight exercises that require no equipment whatsoever, but are still phenomenal for fat burning. Let's get to the next exercise on our list. All right, so the first of the body weight best fat burning exercises, we all love to hate them, are the classic burpees. And the reason burpees are so good is because you're basically doing a squat, a push up, and a jump in this nice continuous flow. You're getting your cardiovascular system pumping. You're activating all these muscles in your body and it's pretty much hitting all the major muscle groups. It's a phenomenal exercise. And a key theme I'm trying to drive home here is when your goal is fat loss, it's oftentimes a good idea to do more reps, to do higher volume sets. So if you're very out of shape and you're just starting out, then maybe try to do 10 to 15 burpees in a row. As you get more fit, the burpees can grow with you. Try to do it up to 30 reps in a row. And for a whole workout, I dare you to try to do 100 burpees. This is phenomenal. Like if you only had like 10 minutes to work out, do as many burpees as you can do in 10 minutes would be an absolute killer workout for fat loss. And of course, you can do this with a little bit of rest. Do a set, catch your breath, do a set, catch your breath. And I'll tell you this, the more explosive you are in that jump up, activating those fast switch fibers of the legs is gonna make it even more effective. And on the way down, make sure you catch yourself with nice braced legs so you're not slamming on your knees. Make it a very fluid motion and don't cheat that push up. Catch yourself, really come down, press back up. That's why burpees are the first exercise on this list. Let's get into number two of the body weight fat burning exercises. The next of our body weight fat burning exercises are dynamic plank variations. So we all know planks, right? You get on the ground either with your arms down like this on elbows or up on all fours. You're contracting and drawing in your core and ideally, if you know what you're doing, squeezing your glutes and your legs to create whole body tension. Phenomenal exercise for core strength, but there's things we can do to get the planks to be a little more active. And specifically, one version that I absolutely love are mountain climbers, where you're in that really braced plank position and then you're moving your legs like pistons back and forward and you're basically getting hip flexion and core movement all in one while you're increasing your cardiovascular capacity. So imagine if you're in this good plank position, you hold that for about 30 seconds and then you do about 30 seconds of mountain climbers, trying to count as many reps as you can. And then you go back to something like shoulder taps where you're in that plank and you're taking one arm up and tapping the shoulders and you did a little bit of a plank circuit. So plank, mountain climbers, shoulder taps, you are gonna be absolutely torched. And it's a phenomenal workout for your core and your upper body as you're bracing and your coordination, which makes it such a fun and engaging exercise. And with this, maybe you set a timer, maybe you set a one or two minute timer and you go a little bit on the hold, then the mountain climbers, then the shoulder taps for like 10 reps, absolutely killer. I mean, standalone could be a phenomenal little high intensity cardio workout with no weights. So that's why I absolutely love this. Let's get into the final body weight fat burning exercise on this list. The final body weight fat burning exercise that I absolutely love is jumping rope. Yes, classic skipping. A lot of us did it as kids and then we forget about how good it is. But the reason it's so good is the same reason a lot of these other great exercises are good. It activates many of your muscle groups while giving you a cardiovascular effect. So while you're jumping rope and you're bouncing, your calves are certainly activated, your core is certainly activated, but so is your shoulders. You're doing a lot of this shoulder rotation and you're creating more tension and ideally you're breathing through your nose. What I recommend you try to do is get to the point where you're coordinated enough to get around 100 skips in a row. When you get good at this and you're very fluid, you're gonna find you get a nice burn in your shoulders and in your legs. And the cool thing about this is again, you can incorporate into any kind of exercise you do. It is a phenomenal dynamic warm up before a lifting workout. Whether you're doing upper body or lower body, you're getting some shoulder rotation, some knee work and some core work. So do five to 10 minutes of skipping or as a finish to your workout, work on this. And one key tip with skipping in particular is try to breathe through your nose. 
Get really good at breathing through your nose, which actually increases the oxygenation, increases nitric oxide production, and it'll just help you feel so much better and improve your cardiovascular fitness while improving your metabolism. So I hope you enjoyed these six exercises we covered so far, the three with the weights and the three body weight. These are by no means the only great exercises for fat burning. Things like rowing, using the battle ropes, these are also good things that could have made this list, but you know, the video is not gonna be forever long, and I wanna get into some discussion on the best forms of cardio specifically for fat loss. So let's get into that in just a moment. We're gonna talk about the two kinds of cardio and how you should incorporate them into your routine. So my fundamental premise in how I create my Fit Father and Fit Mother programs is that the most effective kind of exercise is time efficient. It combines the best strength training exercises we've talked about and cardio into one. And I call that metabolic resistance training. The idea that we're doing swings, into squats, into shoulder presses, into rows, and we're doing it in a circuit fashion. What's good about that, again, strength plus cardio, very time efficient. But there's also benefit to doing straight up cardio. And there's two kinds of cardio you probably need to be aware about. The first kind is called low intensity steady state cardio, or LIS. This is like jogging, riding a bike at a steady pace, going on a hike that's relatively flat. You're basically just outside elevating your heart rate and keeping it at a pretty constant pace. You're not going like balls to the wall crazy, you're just kind of doing it. The other form is high intensity interval training or HIT. This is when you're intentionally doing burst activity where you're going really hard and fast and then have a period of lower activity or complete rest. And then you're bursting again and rest. Now the benefit of low intensity steady state cardio is it's phenomenal for your heart. And it also re re releases some of these natural endorphins and enkephalins that make us feel amazing. Like the runner's high is because you're on this low intensity steady state and the body gets into great flow, good for cardiovascular, and it has fat burning benefits, especially if you're in a particular zone in your heart rate where you're not going so high that your body can't burn fat, you can straight up burn a lot of fat while you're doing that exercise. Yet, the goal again is not necessarily just to burn calories during exercise, it's about metabolic investment. And this is why I highly recommend you also incorporate high intensity interval training or HIT into your workout, because although you do like a 10 minute workout, you might get a metabolic boost for like an entire day. So think about return on your investment. You're a busy person like me, you do HIT or some of these MRT workouts one, two, three times a week spaced out, maybe only 90 minutes of total exercise and you get a massive metabolic boost after training. And so HIT workouts can effectively be some of these circuits that we did. Or again, you can do something like jumping rope hard for like one minute, and then doing something uh, lighter, like some jumping jacks as your, as your interim. Just ideas to throw out there. We have videos specifically that we'll link below in the description on exact HIIT workouts that we have. Some involve weights, some don't, but I recommend if you, when you stick to the end of this video, we'll show you how to incorporate lists and HIIT into one type of exercise. Now, let's wrap this up and show you how we can do this in a complete routine that will be great for your fat loss. Let's get into the end of this video. All right, so I'm super excited that you're here at the end of this video. What we're gonna do is peel back this mystery whiteboard here and basically do a quick summary about how to incorporate some of the tips in this video into a simple plan to follow. So, whoosh, number one, nutrition is key. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. So anything you do to improve your nutrition is gonna create that calorie deficit that ultimately leads to more fat loss. And specifically what I recommend is some quick tips is to standardize your first meal of the day. Focus on that first period and get a healthy meal really early. Some great ideas are low carb breakfast involving eggs or some meats or stuff like that. Or you can also intermittent fast and just basically skip that first meal entirely. This works really well for a lot of people because you're creating a calorie deficit in the morning and during the morning time, your body also has high levels of natural fat burning hormones. Things like cortisol, epinephrine, these actually have a, a catabolic effect on fat tissue. So allow those things to ride in the morning and have water, green tea, or coffee. One suggestion, dial in your nutrition, it's gonna be absolutely essential. Number two, do MRT workouts, like the strength circuits that we've talked about here, things like swings into squats, into mountain climbers, into burpees, do that one to three times per week or a straight high intensity interval training session. And when I'm thinking about my week of exercise ahead, as do some of my clients, I like to slot these into the schedule. So if, let's say it's Sunday and you're looking at the week ahead, schedule these one to three times a week, put them on your calendar like meetings. So you know you have discrete periods of high intensity exercise that are gonna give you a really good metabolic boost. So no matter what happens in the other days, whether you get a chance to take a walk or do some other low intensity steady state or do a strength training workout, at least you're getting this and you're having an elevated metabolism throughout the week. So one to three times is plenty. In fact, we've got some program members that work out like three times a week that have lost over 100 pounds, really not doing anything crazy. So you can lose a lot of weight and burn a lot of fat if you have the structure and discipline. Number three, add in the weight training exercises I talked about in the beginning of this video. Add in the swings, add in the squats, 
add in the lunges and try many different variations. I think that simple goal I gave you of trying to do 100 of these in every session could serve you really well. And experiment with the heavy versions of these as well as the light versions. On your next workout, do some swings. Set a target of 50 to 100. Try a couple sets of heavy and a couple sets higher rep, and you're gonna get better with these in time, and they're gonna give you a great metabolic boost, and they can tack on to whatever workout program you're following. And of course, if you want exact guidance on the type of workout program that's highly effective, particularly if you're a busy mom or dad over 40, then scroll below in the description. We have free workouts as well as our full paid programs that are best online, period, for reducing fat loss and sustainable results for busy moms and dads. And number four, the final aspect of this plan is do as much low intensity steady state cardio as you actually enjoy. And I think it's super important not just to run for running's sake. If you enjoy a particular kind of low intensity steady state cardio, make it play for you, make it fun. Hop on the bike if you like to bike, go hiking if you love to hike, and try to do this a couple times per week. I think it's a good goal to get around 120 minutes of just steady state, low intensity cardio per week. That's what it says from the American Heart Association is positively associated with great heart health outcomes. But think of this more as play than a proper cardio workout unless you're training for a particular kind of race. What I personally do as a daily discipline is I do at least a 30 minute walk every single morning. I get my dog, I get my baby, we get outside, I get some sunshine on my skin and eyes, I breathe fresh air through my nose. There's so many benefits outside just fat burning. It's amazing for your mood, it lowers stress levels, makes you happier, and it's just a nice way to kick off the day. So accumulate more steps, do not underestimate the power of walking. There's phenomenal research that it decreases dramatically your risk for obesity, heart disease. Again, good for psychological and mood factors. So try to get a walk in every single day, or if you don't have the ability to in the morning because you're leaving early for work, at least try to accumulate five to 10,000 steps per day. If you can park your car farther away and walk, if you can walk on your lunch break, walk while you're taking a call, accumulate more steps because walking actually is burning fat at rest. And if you get good at walking and breathing through your nose, you're gonna have some amazing benefits to your nervous system. You're not gonna be nearly as stressed and wired and that ultimate state of being more relaxed, having better circulation and more activity is conducive to both fat loss and overall well-being. Hope you found this valuable, my friend. Again, if you want specific help on this, check out the description. We have free meal plans and workouts. We'll send those straight to your email, as well as our paid programs. And these are some of the results that our fit fathers and fit mothers are getting on side of our programs. We literally have over 60,000 families in over 100 countries using our programs. And inside our programs, we literally hand you the exact meal plan, the exact workouts, coaching and guidance directly from me and my team to ensure you stay on track, and of course, a whole bunch of other health education, not just help you with your weight, but your mindset and your overall well-being, your stress levels, all of it's included. So hope to have you inside our programs one day. Whether or not you join, I'm grateful you're here. I recommend you hit the like button if you found this valuable because it helps this video spread across the interwebs and reach more people. And subscribe if you haven't because you'll get instant access to over 500 videos across our channels, lots of great stuff like this, including exercise tutorials, direct workouts, and a bunch of free stuff. So check that out. This is Dr signing off. Thanks for being here, my friend. I'll see you in future videos and I'll talk to you very soon.